Hey guys, how's it going? This is Craig here with Craig Dacey Financial Coaching and today I'm going to be walking you through how to use the Every Dollar app to track your spending, to keep track of how much you have left, and to really use it as an envelope system. For those of you who don't really like using cash, how can you use the Every Dollar app to, to track your spending so that you're not going over budget with your debit card? So I have a mock budget here right on my phone and we're going to just scroll on through. And so this is identical to what it looks like on your computer. So when you when you planned your budget online, this is what it looked like. And now it's going to look just the same as you're looking at it on your Every Dollar app. And you'll see everything that you budgeted for the month. Now let's say you want to come in and put a transaction in for uh, gas. Let's say you're at the gas pump and you're trying to track your gas. You can do two things. You can either scroll down here to auto gas and oil and click on it and you're able to enter your transaction. So let's say you're at the pump. You can hit that plus sign right up here in the top right hand corner. We're going to hit that and that's going to allow us to enter in how much we are spending on gas. So you're at the pump, it finishes and let's say it was $30. Um, and then you can, I usually down here under merchant will type in which vehicle. So we have two cars in our house. So my wife and I, we will each enter the name of the vehicle. So um, whatever your car is, we have a, a Santa Fe and a journey. So let's just say I filled up with my, the Santa Fe and it was $30 and I can hit save and it's going to show up here. Now you'll notice at the, at the top, it's going to, you can see where I had $150 planned. That's what I budgeted for gas. And we, I just spent 30, so it's going to subtract that. And over there on the right, it's going to tell me how much I have left for gas, which is fantastic. When you're, when you're going to the pump, knowing how you're doing, and that's really going to help you track your spending. Now, as I go back to the main page, you'll also see under auto gas and oil, there's that green line. That, that thin line is the fill bar. As I use up my my envelope in there, that category, that green line is going to go across. That kind of shows you just a, a really quick visual of how much you have left, how much you've spent. All right, now let's say you want to add in something. So we're at the top and you don't have to always scroll through. If you look down at the bottom left hand corner of the app, there's a plus sign. If you click on that, it's going to just open up that exact same thing. So let's say we went to the grocery store and we spent a hundred bucks. So I'll enter in a hundred dollars. I just have to choose which budget item it is. And this is where I'll scroll through and find groceries. So maybe I hit grocery one and save. So it's there. And you can type in wherever you went, H-E-B, Walmart, whatever, whatever grocery store you chose to go to and save. And when you go back down here to groceries, you'll see that the green bar has filled up slightly. If I click on groceries, there's Walmart right there. And at the top right hand corner, it's showing me how much money I have left to spend on groceries. This comes in really handy as you're doing restaurants, going out to eat, any of those categories where it's really easy to overspend. This is your accountability. This is what I look at. So I, if I want to go out to eat, I don't open up my bank account to see how much is left. I open up my every dollar app to see what do I have left in my budgeted envelope for food. If I have enough, then yeah, I can go. Now, the downside of doing it this way instead of using cash is you have to be really diligent about entering them all the time. So that's why when you're at the checkout line at the grocery store, as they're bagging your food, just quickly pull out your phone and type it in so you don't forget to do it later. When you're at the gas pump, have it out and ready so that once that pump is done, you can quickly type it in and, and get it in there before you forget. Because what happens is if, if you get the check at dinner and you pay it and you forget to enter it, you're like, oh, I'll, I'll put it in when we get home, and you forget, well, if you spent 50 bucks on dinner and you never entered in, then next time you want to go out and you look at your envelope, you're going to have $50 more than what you really have. And so that's where you can get into a lot of trouble and you can throw your budget off course. So it's super important to track your your budget and spending and make sure you do it that way. If you're afraid that you won't, then I really recommend sticking to cash. All right, so down at the bottom right of this app, if you click on that, it's great. It'll show you all your spending for the month. So you can see the two things we just entered are here. And this is going to show for every category, everything that you have spent money on. And then once again, top right corner, you can add a new item if you hit that plus sign. All right. 
The last thing I'm going to show you is up here at the top of the app, you'll see those three things. You have planned, spent, and remaining. What's great about this is it's going to be just a different way to look at your, your, your things. So as you scroll through here, you'll see $0 next to everything now that I put it on spent. This is showing how much I've spent this month in each category. And then there's those two items that we just entered together. And then if I go back to the top, I can hit remaining. And again, this is the same thing. It's going to just show me what do I have left to spend in every category. So if you just want a quick overview, you don't want to click on the actual category to see what you have left, I can come here and there's my auto and gas, it's showing me I have 120 bucks left to spend, and there's groceries, I have 150 left to spend. The app is really great. What I love about it is it syncs with other people on your account. So my wife and I, we both have it, and we both are logged into the same account. So if she enters something, when I log in, it shows up. So we're not both spending money and realizing, oops, we both we went over budget. We're able to stay together and stay on track with our spending. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Leave it in the comments box below. I'm happy to answer anything for you. I do want to invite you guys to my free Facebook group. I'll leave a link in there. It's called Taking Control of Your Income, and it's a place where you can just ask questions, vent your frustrations, and share your success stories. It's a group of like-minded people like you who are on, the, on a financial journey to take control of their income, to stop paying creditors and to start paying themselves.